It is astonishing that by using pieces of a shattered skull, scientists were able to build a 3D model of a 75,000-year-old Neanderthal woman. The amount of discoveries in the field of anthropology and archaeology continue to uncover cool information about ancient settlements, our primitive ancestors, and even pushing back the date of early human migrations across the world. Join us as we explore the exciting mysteries and groundbreaking discoveries of May 2024. What if we told you that the timeline of human migration to Cyprus just got a massive rewrite? Cyprus's archaeological importance stems from its location at the crossroads of civilizations. The island boasts a rich tapestry of cultures, from Neolithic settlements to Roman ruins. It was believed that humans didn't settle on the island until around 10,000 BC. Yet archaeologists recently discovered stone tools and animal remains on Cyprus that date back to around 11,000 BC. This is significant because it pushes back the timeline of human presence on the island by a millennium. This new evidence suggests that these early settlers were skilled mariners who navigated the Mediterranean a thousand years earlier than previously thought. But how did they manage to cross the sea? And what does this mean for our understanding of early human movement? The presence of these early hunter-gatherers indicates that humans were capable of seafaring and adapting to new environments much earlier than suggested. This changes our understanding of human ingenuity and resilience during the Mesolithic period. These discoveries just continue to prove that our ancestors were far more adventurous and resourceful than history has given them credit for. Archaeologists believe these early settlers reached Cyprus by boat around 12,000 years ago. The Mediterranean Sea would have been calmer with lower sea levels back then, making travel slightly easier. Their boats, likely small and constructed from wood, wouldn't have survived for millennia. But the presence of tools confirms their impressive seafaring skills. Now imagine stumbling upon ancient artworks that depict a landscape far different from what we see today. A place that was once a luscious wetland somehow became a grand desert. Well, in the arid Sudanese desert, new rock art sites have been discovered that hold thousand-year-old secrets about the environment. The numerous newly identified rock art sites illustrate various animals such as giraffes, elephants and crocodiles, indicating that these species once thrived in a time when the Sahara was lush and green, opposed to what is now a barren desert. These findings help support the hypotheses of a green Sahara during the early Holocene period around 10,000 to 5,000 years ago. This period saw increased rainfall and a wetter climate, transforming the desert into a hospitable savanna. But why did these early artists choose to highlight these animals? It turns out that these carvings were likely more than mere artistic expression. They may have served as symbolic records for the environment and the resources available to early human communities. This discovery enriches our understanding of prehistoric life and marks the well-known dynamic nature of Earth's climate. If you're fascinated by these incredible discoveries and want to stay updated with the latest in archaeology and paleontology, then go tap that subscribe button. Now prepare to be amazed. Using advanced forensic techniques, researchers have brought Shanidar Z back to life. The face of a Neanderthal woman who lived 75,000 years ago in what is now Iraq has recently been fully reconstructed. Her face has revealed interesting details about her life and the world she inhabited. This reconstruction is based on the skeletal remains found in the Shanidar Cave, one of the most significant Neanderthal sites in the world. The facial reconstruction shows a woman with strong features and a hint of a smile providing a deeply human connection to our distant relatives. One interesting thing about Shanidar Z is that she was found alongside other Neanderthals in a special cave area, hinting at possible Neanderthal burial rituals. The details in her bones indicate she lived a physically demanding life, likely involving hunting and gathering. Her features also suggest a degree of adaption to the harsh conditions of her environment. This reconstruction offers a tangible link to our shared heritage, reminding us that Neanderthals were not so different from modern humans. And once again, some of the earliest known human settlements in South America are believed to be older than previously thought, pushing the boundaries of when humans first inhabited this part of the world. This discovery is helping piece together the migratory timeline of humans in the Americas.
Archaeologists uncovered a site in the southern part of Chile that dates back 12,500 years. It includes stone tools and remnants of dwellings, and a site called Tagua Tagua III, which reveals evidence of these early inhabitants hunting giant gomphotheries, theories, extinct elephant relatives. The tools found there may provide clues about the technological abilities and way of life. The findings challenge the established timeline of human colonization of South America, suggesting that people were living there much earlier than the Clovis culture, which dominated North America around the same time. Some of you may be asking, why is this important? Well, by helping us understand the migration patterns of early humans, we can have better judgment over how rapidly they spread across different continents. Also, the tools and artifacts found at the site reveal advanced skills in toolmaking and adaption to diverse environments. This finding aids us in understanding the first people of the Americas and highlights the ingenuity and resilience of early human societies. Let's continue to the mysterious skull unearthed in China that may represent a previously unknown human lineage. Have you ever heard of Dragon Man? A skull that was originally found in the 1930s is making its comeback as it remained largely unexamined until recent years. The studies on the Dragon Man skull, scientifically referred to as Homo longi, have revealed the range of features that distinguish it from other known human species. The skull displays a remarkably large brain case, robust brow ridges, and other anatomical traits that suggest it may belong to a distinct species within the Homo genus. You will be shocked to know that the large brain case of the Dragon Man indicates advanced cognitive abilities, potentially on par with or even surpassing those of contemporary human species. This raises intriguing questions about the interactions between Homo longi and other hominins. Did they coexist peacefully, share technology, or even interbreed? The answers to these questions could illuminate how cultural and technological advancements spread across different human populations. Even more intriguing, the Dragon Man's skull's unique features challenge some of the established ideas about human morphology and adaption. The robust brow ridges and other facial characteristics differ widely from those of both Neanderthals and modern humans. This diversity in physical traits accentuates the adaptability and evolutionary path that characterize the genus Homo. It suggests that different human species may have developed unique adaptions to their environments, resulting in a wide array of anatomical features. The implications of this discovery for our understanding of human evolution are profound. The Dragon Man skull, dated to approximately 146,000 years ago, may represent a close relative or even a direct ancestor of modern humans. This period coincides with a time of significant evolutionary activity, with various human species coexisting and interacting across different regions. The Dragon Man adds a new dimension to this narrative, indicating that our lineage continues to grow far more intricate and interconnected than previously recorded. The discovery of the Dragon Man also highlights the importance of re-examining and reassessing existing fossil collections. Many significant finds, like the skull, may be lying unnoticed in museum collections or storage facilities, waiting for the right moment to reveal their secrets. Anthropologists have primarily focused on well-known species such as Homo sapiens, Neanderthals and Denisovans. But discoveries such as the Dragon Man skull have moved some of their focus to less studied species such as Homo longi. As technology and analytical methods advance, previously overlooked specimens have the potential to reshape our understanding of the human family tree and contribute to the genetic and cultural mosaic that defines humanity. It's clear that our journey into the past is far from over. Each discovery brings us closer to understanding our ancestors and the world they lived in. Check out our other videos where we take you on pleasant journeys that explore the mysteries of Earth's primitive eras. Which discovery amazed you the most? Share your thoughts in the comments.